Hey there and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I made this awesome Telecaster. It's a guitar kit once again and the color scheme is based on a video I watched on YouTube, which I will link in the description. It's candy apple red but with a twist. I filled in the grains with black grain filler and I think it really pops out. It looks amazing with the red. So let me show you how I made this guitar and if you stick around till the end, I will also let you listen to it. I started by removing the pre-assembled parts so I could prep the body for paint. To do so I of course had to sand it down. But this time just sanding it down was not enough because I wanted to create that special effect of the black filler underneath the candy apple red I had to open up the pores using a wire brush. If you look at it from up close you can really see the open grey. I could then mask off the fretboard and it was ready for paint. I didn't bother masking off the binding because I wanted to scrape it off anyway. The first layer that goes on is just a silver metallic. This will later make the transparent candy apple red pop out. But then I had to fill the grains. This was quite nerve wracking. I had to apply this filler on my freshly painted body. I really had to push it into the grain. And then came the most scary part. I had to take away all the excess grain filler without taking away the metallic finish. I used 1200 grit sandpaper and water. Very carefully I removed the grain filler, little by little. And I was left with a silver metallic body with black grains. To finish off the main paint job I then applied the transparent candy apple red and of course a finish. I couldn't get the metallic finish to show up quite as good on camera as it does in real life, but I think it came out beautifully. It could maybe use some buffing, but for now I'm happy. It was then time to add my own logo using a water slide decal. This process is well documented on YouTube. It's not that hard as long as you have a good quality decal and you take your time. I then decided to ebonize the fretboard using a water-based stain since the entire guitar is red and black. I used a few layers and I think it came out beautifully. I didn't bother taping off the frets and the dots because I could just use a q-tip and some paint thinner to remove the stains. I could then move on to assembly. First the neck was installed and because I wanted a red and black look I decided to swap out some original metallic parts for black parts. I swapped out the control plate and the knobs, the bridge, the jack plate and the copper plate on the neck pickup. All of these beautiful black parts could then be added to the body. This is where it all comes together. For me the hard part was soldering everything together. I did not have a wiring diagram and I had never soldered anything before. So this was just trial and error but I made it work. For now the guitar is almost ready. It just needs some tuners, some strings and a setup. It's now time to find out how this beauty sounds. Be aware this guitar does need a little bit of work. Um, the intonation is not quite right yet and also I've got a little bit of fret buzz. But I just wanted to give you a quick preview of how it sounds. So let's listen to it clean. <laughs> Thank you. 
Then it's time to really open up the distortion.